Designing a home that caters to the needs and safety of both children and pets while maintaining style and comfort is a challenge. In this video, we'll explore all the things to help you design a space that meets the dynamic needs of a family-friendly household. We'll cover everything from furniture and plant safety to the best types of flooring and fabrics, ensuring your home is a haven for every family member, fury ones included. Kids' heads seem to inevitably be magnet for sharp corners. To avoid constantly dealing with injuries, look for furniture with rounded or softened edges. Yes, you may love a rectangular coffee table with a sharp angular design, but one with rounded off edges or one that is circle or oval in shape is a much more sensible choice. Think about how you can incorporate cushion or soft furnishings, like an upholstered ottoman instead of a solid timber coffee table or an upholstered sofa arm rather than a metal or timber one to make your space even more accommodating. Another idea is to have your cabinetry and storage unit extend all the way to the walls so there aren't sharp corners sticking out in mid-air. If you've already owned pieces with sharp edges, you may want to install furniture bumpers to cover those sharp corners. Unfortunately, certain plants are harmful to pets if they're ingested, leading to seizures, tremors, or even worse outcomes. Research by the ASPCA indicates that plants such as lilies and sago palms pose significant risk to pets, with ingestion potentially leading to severe health issues like kidney failure in cats and liver damage in dogs. That is why it is so important to do thorough research before introducing a new house plant into your home, especially if you intend to leave it on the floor or at a height where your pet can access it. If you're looking for some pet-friendly plants, I'll suggest adding watermelon peperomias, prayer plants, calathea plants, orchids, money trees, or Chinese money plants to your space. These varieties are not only easy to grow, but are also non-toxic, making your home pet-friendly whilst enhancing the overall ambience of your space with lush greeneries and organic shapes. Similarly to plants, certain essential oils used in diffusers are toxic to pets or they may be hypersensitive to them. Some popular essential oils that are harmful to cats and dogs include tea tree and peppermint, which can cause symptoms from mild dermatitis to serious neurological issues. But there are also many others that are toxic to just cats or just dogs. That is why it is so important to do thorough research or consult with your vet for approval before using essential oils in your home. Avoid light-colored upholstery and loosely woven upholstery at all costs if you have kids or pets, unless you want to spend all your free time cleaning and mending your furnishings. The best upholstery for your home differs slightly depending on whether you have kids, dogs, cats, or a combination of them. For instance, tightly woven synthetic fabrics that are composed of microfibers, polyester, or nylon tend to be great for busy household with kids and pets, while other sofas only really work for kids and dogs and not so much for cats as they have sharper claws and can puncture it. Another option that works for kids and all pets are performance fabrics like Sunbrella and Krypton, which are stain, spill, and odor resistant. These are fabrics made for the outdoors, so they are much sturdier and can withstand plenty of abuse. If you have a cat, you may even consider something like performance velvet, as cats aren't as tempted to scratch the texture of velvet. However, velvet can be a magnet for pet hair. If you already have a couch, you can protect it with furniture covers like a slip cover, or you can add stylish blankets or quilts as a more stylish option. It is also not a bad idea to take the color of your upholstery into consideration. Something that is closer to the color of your pet's fur may be a good idea, especially if they are a heavy shedding breed, so their fur isn't as noticeable. Then, you'll only have to clean your upholstery every few days rather than worrying about very visible black fur on a cream couch and cleaning it multiple times a day. Over time, wicker, rattan, and sisal furniture tend to become brittle and break. This can be quite dangerous for kids as there will be lots of sharp edges and splinters which can injure a child's delicate skin. Similarly, pets, especially puppies and kittens, like to scratch and chew on things. These rough materials tend to be seen as a chew toy or scratching magnet, which means they will be short-lived inside your home. While jute, sisal, and silk rocks are all beautiful natural options for your home, they are not the best when it comes to pets and kids. Both jute and sisal rocks are both highly absorbent, meaning they can easily get stained and are difficult to clean as they shrink and warp when wet. They also snag easily, which means they can easily get ripped up by your pet's claws. Similarly to loose weave fabrics, silk rocks are not ideal as they are so delicate and fragile. 
not to mention very expensive. Instead, of for washable rugs or outdoor rugs, they're generally made from synthetic materials like polypropylene, and some can even be hosed down or thrown into the washing machine. They're also considerably cheaper than your average wool rug as they're made from man-made materials, some of which are even made of recycled bottles that are good for the environment. Speaking of recycled materials, Bellroy, who's the kind sponsor of today's video, is a perfect example of this. Bellroy makes a range of carry and travel products that are not only beautifully designed, but also highly functional, and more importantly, using sustainable materials, like this travel sling made from 100% recycled polyester, or this beautiful travel wallet made with leather from tanneries that have earned a gold rating from the Leather Working Group. This means they have achieved a very high standard for sustainability, labor, and animal welfare. I really like how this wallet comes with a micro pen and holder, which comes in really handy when you need to fill in those custom forms. There's also a slot for your SIM card, and of course, enough compartments for your cash, card, and passport. The sling, on the other hand, while small, can fit pretty much everything you need for traveling or walking around the city. There's even a soft line pocket for glasses and phone, and I really like the magnetic clasps on the strap that makes it really easy to take it on and off. They also have a range of travel bags that you should check out if you're in the market for one. Bellroy is a B Corp certified company, so you can be assured that they have met high standard of social and environmental performance. Over the years, they've saved millions and tons of waste from the landfill, giving them a second life through their ranges of beautiful products. If you have travel plans or are in the market for everyday carry items, be sure to check them out using the link down in the description for 10% off their entire range. If you want something a bit more traditional, consider a vintage Persian rug. Persian rugs are all about their vintage appeal, so their age and wear and tear makes them charming instead of unappealing. I also find that these rugs tend to have very intricate patterns and lean into darker color palettes, which are great at masking dirt. The downside is that they're quite an investment. Thin, long, and flowy drapes are a nightmare to clean for cat owners and kids. Hem them to just touching the floor or floating off the floor so you don't have to clean them as often. Textured curtains like linen can also be very tempting for cats. Velvet is an option as cats are not tempted to scratch them. You can get the Sanella from IKEA which is quite affordable. It is also a good idea to invest into a scratching post to stop your cats from clawing onto the drapes. When it comes to kids, keep the curtains off the floor so it doesn't become a tripping hazard. Alternatively, get blinds, but look into the cordless option as corded blinds are not child-friendly. Carpet and hardwood flooring are not ideal for pets, but they can still be used if you're careful. The main drawbacks of carpet is that it stains rapidly, it's very difficult to clean, and lingering smells can get trapped into the fibers. But that being said, many people still prefer carpet for pets as your home will be quieter without the constant pitter-patter of footsteps up and down the hallway. Hardwood, while easy to wipe down and aesthetically pleasing, can sustain moisture damage and easily get scratched, especially softer timbers. If you still want timber flooring, go with the hardest timber type you can get. Species like oak and mahogany are quite good, while softwood species like pine are a no-go. Another tip is to get one with a mat or low sheen, so scratches are not as obvious. If you want something easier to maintain than carpet or hardwood, I'd suggest tile, vinyl, laminate, or polished concrete floorings. For tiles, you could go for anything from ceramic to porcelain to stone depending on your budget. There's also the added bonus that tiles stay cool if you live in a warm climate. However, it may not be that suitable for colder climates. As tiles are very smooth, they may also be uncomfortable for pets or slippery for kids, so you may want to investigate non-slip options that have a more textured grip surface. Laminate or luxury vinyl planks tend to be the best option as a middle ground for both functionality and aesthetics. Their main benefit is that they're stain resistant and waterproof. Just like upholstery, I'll suggest getting flooring in a similar color to your pet's fur, so their hair isn't as noticeable on the ground. But this is a minor consideration as you can't really do anything if your dog's fur is black unless you're happy with something like Ebony flooring. A few quick maintenance tips. Firstly, clean any moisture on your floor immediately. If your kids spill a drink or your pet accidentally urinates on the floor, wipe it up straight away. You don't want it to seep in and damage your flooring, as most damage occurs 5 minutes after the accident. Secondly, keep your pet's nails short so they can't accidentally scratch your floor while walking around. 
Minimize or try to avoid using flat and matte paint where possible. The glossier your paint is, the more durable it is and the easier it is to wipe down. While you shouldn't be going around painting your living room walls in high gloss or even semi-gloss, as it will be too shiny and create an uncomfortable glare, you also shouldn't be working with paint from the other side of the spectrum, such as flat paint. As a highly textured paint, it is not only quite soft, meaning it will easily chip and dent, but matte and flat paint will show marks from your kids or pets running their hands over the walls. It's very hard to wipe down without damaging the painted surface and also will attract pet fur. Instead, opt for eggshell or satin paint in high traffic areas of your home and only use flat paint for ceilings. This may seem like a really simple point, but it is important to keep all of your expensive or breakable things out of the reach of your kids and also out of your dog's tail wagging zone. This means moving your favorite vase from the coffee table to a higher shelf and swapping up the core at lower levels for things like books, pillows, and blankets that can't get destroyed. If you're at the design stage of a build or home renovation, you may want to consider how you can make your home's layout more kid or pet friendly. Young kids and pets need a lot of supervision, so you should think about your sidelines. Can you see your garden, pool, or other places where your kids will be playing from the most used areas of your home? Also think about other practicalities like the layout of your entrance and all of your storage solutions. Do you have a good setup for dumping school bags, shoes, sports gear, and pet gear? Is there enough storage around your home for all the extra things you're going to collect during pet ownership and from having kids? Leading on from the last part, my number one suggestion for things to get is more storage. Kids and pets create visual clutter from all their toys, books, and games. Stepping on a Lego piece is not a pleasant experience. You need storage to be able to put everything away once they're done with it. I personally like making DIY storage units with modular IKEA units and I've done this in many of my client projects as well as my own home. Another option is to purchase double duty furniture that acts both as furniture and storage. Things like storage benches, dressers as changing tables, storage automats, dining banquettes, and lift up storage couches. I'll also suggest looking into the Nordly, Besta, Plaza, Trofast, or Smashset ranges from IKEA, as they all provide plenty of closed storage space and are also surface for kids to climb and play on and around. Bins and baskets will also become your best friend. They make it really easy to tuck away your mess and looks good out on display. They're also really accessible for children, so they can be more independent and get their toys out on their own. There are also many little storage hacks you can do for pets, like installing hooks by your front door for leashes or hiding bowls under your kitchen toe kick. Having a designated play zone for your kids and even your pets keeps all their clutter and toys contained to one area and makes the cleanup process a lot easier. It also provides a safe and controlled environment where they can freely play and learn without the risk of injury or causing disarray throughout the rest of your home. A lot of my friends who have pets have recommended the Chom Chom Roller as the best product for pet hair removal. It is much better than a traditional lint roller or sticky roller as it traps fur when you roll it back and forth and when you're done with it, you can press a button to open up the fur remover and empty it out completely. It also does not require part replacement like sticky rollers, so it's much more sustainable and can be used again and again. If you're interested in this product, I have it linked below in the description box. If you have pets, it is a great idea to create a pet feeding station to keep everything organized and make it more aesthetically pleasing. Random food bowls lying around never look good, so as I suggested before, consider hiding them under your kitchen cabinet toe kick or get a dedicated pet feeding storage cabinet. If that is not an option, consider food bowls or feeding stations that blend in better with your interior. There's so many options out there. Similarly, you can get crates, beds, and litter boxes in so many different designs that are not a black metal cage. Just like putting a side table or a piece of furniture, I'd encourage you to get one that complements your space and more importantly, is comfortable for your furry friend. It's really a no-brainer to make the daily chore of vacuuming easier with a stick and robot vacuum. Stick vacuums are cordless so you don't have to be struggling with cords or locating power points, while robot vacuums totally automate the task and help keep your floors clean on the daily. Carpet cleaner is another must-have if you have kids and pets. 
You never know when someone's going to have an accident all over your pristine carpet. You don't want the stain to settle in as you duck down to the shops to get some cleaner. So having some in your laundry cupboard is your best bet. Get to the stain as quickly as possible. There's nothing worse than coming home from a dog walk on a rainy day and realizing that you don't have a towel handy at the front door and no one's home to pass one through. Having a simple paw cleaning station alongside your entryway setup is a fantastic idea as most of us don't have mud rooms. Get together some pet wipes, a small towel or rag, and even one of those paw cleaner products. This is so worth it to stop a wet dog from wiping itself dry along your walls or to the sides of your sofa. Regardless of everything, remember that accidents happen no matter how careful you are. It is better to come to terms with it. After all, kids and pets are not always aware of their surroundings and they don't mean to cause any trouble. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this video on low maintenance home and leave a comment below if you have any tips on making your home more welcoming for every member of your family. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.